Hey everyone, it's me, Ilstra, and we're playing the good old Racketeer, an item shop's tale. If you know games like Moonlighter, you will get the get a same get a get a similar uh, similar feeling out of this. There is a little bit of tutorial in the beginning, but I will you know do it just for you guys, so you know what's up and you know how to run a shop properly. And uh, let's go. No, oh, for the love of, she's still asleep. Does she really not understand how important today is? Can't eat another bite. No. But I can always find room for yummy candy. Bam, midriff. What, what, is, what does this mean? For some reason? What? Let me, let me get this in my system. Huh? What, what does this mean? Wake up, please! Please! Oh! What? When is it? Ohayo! I'm learning Japanese now. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh. What does it mean? Oh, you mean because... Ah, oh, yeah, because... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 for some reason. Yeah, you know, it's outfit. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have... We don't... We, don't not, we do not have time for good morning, Racketeer. Are you planning on spending the rest of your life dreaming of sweets? Today is the day we set for opening the store. Oh, but we did? Oh, yeah, we did. Merde. For the, I'm learning French now. Listen, go wash yourself. Go wash yourself, your face, and make yourself uh, presentable. And then join me downstairs in the storefront. Okay, I'll be right down. Wakata, I understand. Understand. Oh, your face, yeah. Hey, sorry, I kept you waiting. Okay, dear, let's open the store. Can I? No. I did the, mu the music is a little bit loud, I guess. Let's open the the shop right now. Capitalism, oh, patience, Ricketeer. It is a, a a virtue we will need. We need to take care of a few matters before we open officially. Huh? Like what? Well, I somehow doubt that a store without anything to sell is going to attract all that much business. Oh. Oh yeah, we don't have anything to sell, uh, so uh, what do we do? To start with, we need to establish a stock of items for the store. If we have nothing to sell, we, 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 we can not claim to be much of a shop. That's true, hmm. So where should we go to get stocked up? Best way, I think, would be to visit either the town's market or the merchant's guild. We need to give our regrets to the head of the guild regardless, so that should probably be our first stop. Oh, that's the place run by that old guy, right? The guild operates as a whole a wholesaler for local merchants, so if we stop by, we can purchase an initial stock. It would not hurt to grow... Mm. Mm. Grower, give, give our polite regrets to the guild chief either especially since the guild is the org organization that allows us to operate here in the first place okay got it and let's go right now when you want to leave the shop head to the front door currently located in the upper right hand corner of the store ah but i wanted to leave through the window like an action hero to eternity and i could hear hi Let's see if I can find my fucking inventory. Uh, it's 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 way too loud. Let's go. This sounds better. Okay. No. No. So this is my store. Nothing to sell. Very tiny store. Let's go outside. Merchant's Guild. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. 
Hmm? A girl on the ferry. You two are. Yes, your racketeer and that loan shark. Well, that is not, well, an incorrect assessment. But I ask that you refrain from, from calling me a loan shark. That's right, mister. She and I are partners. Don't be mean. <laughs> forgive me, forgive me. Partners it is. So, how are, how, how are the preparations for running that shop coming along? Quite well, thank you. In fact, we plan on opening today, so we stop by in order to show our gratitude for, for your help. Ha, ah, very good. You two know what's what. If you have any problems, let me know. I'll be glad to help. We appreciate your kindness. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate your kindness. Thank you very much. Not a problem at all. So, you came straight here to pick up some merchandise, right? Well, up to the corner. Uh, up to the counter then. Let's get you two sorted. The first time stocking up. Our funds are limited, so do not go completely overboard. I recommend purchasing... Chasing? No more than 10 items. Uh, okay, oh. 10 items? Talk? What is the guild? No. Huh. What can I do here? About unknown items. About fusion? Never mind. Bye. I'm only here to make money. Uh, I have t a thousand uh, picks. It's my money. Pixels. A thousand pixels. Mm. Get a schwad in. And get him gloves in. Get a little bit of nice drip in, you know. Uh, a raincoat maybe? No, 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 no. It's too expensive. Let's get one of these. Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay, it's, it's okay, it's okay. We don't need everything. Right then, will that be all? <laughs> This, this is perfect. We shall return when our stocks run low again. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Here, a little something extra. As a startup gift. Yatta! Yatta! <laughs> Walnuts bread. Thanks a bunch. Finally. Alright, little lady. Give me all. Capitalism all! Well, Adam Smith would be proud of us at any rate. Good. I'll go back to the shop. Okay. I was going. I wanted to go more into the city. Very well. It's time to give you a crash course of the basics of running an item shop. Oh no. Okay. What do I do first? First, we need to put some items on display. If we do not have our goods out for people to see, we can hardly expect the customers to buy them after all. So I just need to get near near these counters. Just so. Once you know where you wish to place something, choose what you wish to place in that spot by pressing the primary button. Primary button? Who will understand when he's right, trust me. Now remember, what you place will affect how people uh, perceive the store. Huh. So think carefully before you place something. Right. Now then, to start off, why not line up what we purchased? on one of these counters, on the counters. Okay. My loan shark is actually also a fairy, yes. And she she works for a different company. She works, in fact, for like a loan thing. We will get into that later, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is, she is a loan shark, yes. And a fairy, yes. Uh, uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's get the drip outside. Racketeer, may I speak with, with you a moment? Sure, what is it? Those counters by the window. Items you place there are visible to anyone passing by on the street. As such, putting eye-catching items, the thought of things that makes you think, I want to buy this more than anything, on those counters is a core principle of running a shop like this. Oh, absolutely anime, yes. <laughs> In a very, very real way, these counters are the face of the shop. And what is placed there greatly affects interest in our business. 
So choose what you to place there very, very carefully. Oh, I never thought... Yeah, you know. Gotcha. I understand. I will place my nice drip here. I have clothing. And I have a wooden armband. And I am... Hmm. Now that we... And I have a sword. And I have a gloves. And I have more clothes. Hmm. I guess. And I have... Bread. I guess that's all. Alright. That should do for displaying our wares. Wares. Are you sure it doesn't look dumb? I... Do not worry. Everything looks good enough for a first attempt. Now I need to... Now I need to teach you how to actually sell things. I don't know, like... I don't know, like... Why you, Why not, like... Teaching this stuff before we open the this, this shop? You know, but it's for you guys. It's not for... Me. I am... I am a... I have... I have helped... Mellow Mart in Twilight Princess to establish. I know how to run a shop. Look at my stream title. Then you know. I know. And you should know too. But you don't know. So I'm here for you to give you the tutorial. The anime fairy tutorial. So that you know what to know about running a shop. We're doing this together. I hope. You're in this. You're in this now. Please go sit at the counter. Right out. Well then, the items are in place, and now you need to learn how to actually sell things to people without embarrassing yourself. Okay, yo! So, the start with, to start with, I will lecture on the actual process of selling an item we have displayed. Yes, Professor. If the students do not listen, they do not get any credit. Uh, uh right. Now then, when a customer enters, enters to be... Be sure to greet them with a nice big welcome. Uh, welcome. Greeting the customer helps them to feel comfortable and relaxed while in the store. The comfort is fundamental to our business. Remember that as we continue. Now, a typical customer will find an item they want on our displays. And then they will come over to the counter to pay for it. Let me demonstrate. Could I get this, please? Uh, uh, uh... What they want will be in the target window. I don't have a long short. It's okay, though. You will also be able to see the name and base price. Pay close attention to that base price. Also, if you press button 3, you can view expanded in information on the item in question. Consult the custom EXE program included with Racketeer if you wish to check or alter your button configuration. Okay. Wait, button 3? Custom EXE? Focus Racketeer? Oh, sorry. Focus Racket? Your life is hard enough to control as it is. Oh, okay. Now then, next you must decide what price you wish to offer. In general, you want to try and name a price higher than the base. Try naming a price, if you will. Uh, let's see. Button 3. Press up. Okay. Let's go all in now. Yes, very good. That is how you adjust your offer. As, m as might be... As might be obvious, if a customer is satisfied with your offer, it is a sale and you get a little bit of ex experience along with the money. If your price is too high, however, a customer can simply walk out. Learning to determine to the proper price, there lies the challenge. Now, if a customer degree disagrees with the price, but not so much that they want to storm out, then you can negotiate. Remember what I said about comfort earlier? That is the key here. Offer a price, but do not make it so outrageous that the customer feels you are not acting in good faith. So, if they disagree but stay, offer a new price. Ideally, you will lower your offer a little, and they will take it and give you a sale. Some customers may just be trying to sniff out a better price when they are really willing to pay, uh, to pay your initial price. However... Whatever or not you risk testing that possibility is up to you. How long can you keep haggling? Well, 
That depends on how regular a customer, the, uh, the, the person in question is. As we are starting out, you will not be able to haggle for very long. But after customers begin to trust us a little, you can haggle for a longer period of time. Well, time to put theory into practice. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, welcome! Could I get this, please? Okay, I pick a price, right? Need to be higher than the base price. Up button. Oh, yeah, like this. Hmm. At this level, you will likely end up haggling a little. Alright then, now for a fine art of haggling. Theoretical that you wish to do is lower your price slowly. But as I mentioned, there is a limit to, to how long you can haggle. The idea is to de deduce a customer's desire price and go from there. Say dedu deduce the desire price. How do I... A large number of stores sell at about 30% over base price. It is not a hard but fast rule, but people will usually accept that, that price level. Usually. If you can manage to go over that, you will make a lot of money, but you do not want to risk driving away a customer, right then? So, as a customer, I, I, I am haggling. If you make it a little bit cheaper, okay, gotta make it cheaper. Not too cheap. This is technically cheaper, but still high. It would be up to the temperament of the customer as to however or not you make a sale. Well, that covers just about everything. Now let us put the entire lecture into practice all at once. If you can sell me an item, you will be ready for what lies ahead. Let us begin. I don't have a steel sword. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm, could you go a little slower, perhaps? Hmm. Yes, an excellent price. Yeah, yeah, I sold steel sword for 3,900 picks that I don't have. Excellent, let us do that one more time. Oh god, no. Expertly done. If you ever wish to practice again, simply ask me any time we are in the shop. Okay. Okay. And that's it. And that is essentially how it goes. You are quite good for someone who has never done this before. <laughs> really? We still have a little bit of time left today, so let us go ahead and open the store proper. If anyone comes in, simply handle them in the way uh, that we just practiced. Wow, are you sure I can do uh, it? will be alright. Do not worry. As the, saving, as the saying goes, salesmanship is more of an art than it is a science. You learn as you go. Now then, I will open us up. Go on and sit at the corner. A counter, sorry, counter. In the counter. Ah, I guess we're selling. Are we selling? Oh, hi, welcome! This is just what I, what I was looking for. Oh no, she wants just bread? Oh no, I can't make money with just bread? Can you make it a little bit cheaper? Alright, I can accept that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no, this was my tutorial, Brad. No! Congratulations, you did well. Sold stuff. I, me, Raquette, I sold stuff, like, to people. Hey, dear. I. I'm so happy, I. I did it here, I did it. Papa, I did it. I'm the shop tribe daddy now. And that's how we started running an item shop. The end. Oh, you're wondering why we started an item shop at all. Well, to explain that, we need to understand how Tia and I first met. 
Anime cutscene, go! You know, almost. A tale of a fairy, a girl, and loads of money! And how to run an item shop. Oh, sorry, 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 loads of money. No food today, yeah. Racketeer. It, it's all begun, you know. Let's see. Yep, the calendar says it's been three months since Papa left. Oh no, I don't get why he suddenly said I'm gonna be a hero and then took off without saying when he'd be back. I really hope he's okay, I'm getting lonely. Well, I shouldn't worry too much about him. The best thing about him is how tough he is. He'll be okay. It knocks. How about wouldn't knock? Who is that? Hi. Yes, who is it? Hm? There's nobody here. Wait, what? At my feet? Bon bon what? Huh? Are you Mademoiselle Raquette? Lemongrass? Uh, Miss Fairy? Pardon, pardon me, but I am the one asking questions. Again, are you Raquette? A lemongrass. Uh, yes, I am Raquette. I am, my name is Tyr. I am an agent of the Term F Finance Company. Finance Company? I am here to collect payment on a loan paid out to your father. Here is the contract and my identification. Uh, loan? Repayment? I... In plainer terms, I am here to get our money back. If you are incapable of uh, facilitating repayment, this house will be seized as collater collateral in order to repay the loan. Uh, what? What? Uh, uh, Nani? But, but, uh, but, uh, but, but, Papa isn't... He is not here, yes, I see that now. Monsieur Lemongrass disappeared following a f uh, fr fr fracas? Fr fracas atop the local volcano, so we assumed he might have returned here. He was fighting a dragon? Okay. Even if he w has not, however, the contract covers this eventuality. Covers it? Covers this quite. As the sole remain, uh, remaining member of his household, we shall require that you pay his debt in his seat. Oh no. But that... How am I supposed to... I barely have enough money to live by, by myself. Naturally, we are not demanding it all be repaid at once. There is still a small amount of time before any payment is due. Therefore... Am I gonna get sold off and parsed? to distant foreign lands to repay Papa's debts. I wonder if I can survive with only two internal organs. Maybe if I eat a lot of spinach that can replace my blood but and oh but I, I don't want to be a sailor. Well, what am I going to, gonna do? Ah, please listen to me for a moment. I have no clue where you are getting these ludicrous predicted Ludicrous ideas from, sorry. But I would never do such a thing. Quite the opposite, in fact. I was sent here to ensure that you wouldn't have to resort to such, well, absurd methods to pay us back. But what... I have been sent to support you to the fullest of my ability so that you may repay the debt via labor. Work? Yikes. But I've never worked a single day in my life. Experience has no bearing in this case. All that matters is whatever or not you are willing to work. Mm. 
If you do not wish to work, then that is it. The house is terms. And I will have to ask you to leave the premises. As the save saying goes, those who do not work do not eat. So, Miss Lemongrass, which will it be? Work or the house? I work then. Send it. But I don't even know what I could do. Actually, I already have an idea on that on that front. You are aware, of course, that this city is an adventuring hub. In addition, this house faces uh, out on onto one of the main city lanes. Therefore, I propose uh, converting the house into an item store. Item store? Really? 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 A cat? Really? Mademoiselle Lemongrass? I was only gone for a little while to do market research. Where could she have gone? Ah, I am being silly. Of course she fleed. Why would she not? All I did was threaten, threaten to take away everything she ever knew and loved. Asking her to turn the house into an item shop was foolish. Even it is, even if it was the, to repay the debt. The poor girl must be terribly confused, and on top of that, her father is probably... Wait, outside? Yeah. Yanus! It's done! Yanus? Yeah. Hey dear, look, it's done! What is that? It's our shop sign, of course. Doesn't it look cool? You can't be a shop without one of these, you know? Uh, yes, well, it's quite well made, however. <laughs> huh, I've always been good at making stuff. Be that as it may, but the sign is nice, I am... Um... Huh? Is there a problem? Well, the name. You are quite sure you have, uh... Thought... Thought that thought? Well, we're partners, right? You said so. So, put... Racket and tear together and racketeer. Isn't it neat? Well, that is, that is to say the sentiment is commendable, but... It's the two of us opening the store. So the name should reflect that, right? You don't like it? Really? It is not that, but... Well, that is... <laughs> then it's decided. Racketeer, ho! Racketeer? Mispronounced it even slightly and. Reketeer? This job is going to be even more absurdly difficult than I originally suspected, I fear. And so a fairy suddenly entered my life. You know, it's like it's, it's, it's basically Ocarina of Time. It's, it's, it's the same backstory. It's the same backstory. Fairy entered the life, everything changes. Item shop. Merde. How is it how is it supposed to how is it, how is it possible to sleep this much each day? How? Here. Let's do the very best we can. Okina sai I'm learning Japanese now. Huh. Who is on first? Oh, right. Oh, dear. Right. Morning. The clock does not leave a good morning hand. A cat. You are the, uh... Proprietor of an item shop now. You must learn to be responsible and not sleep the day away. <laughs> right. Right, dude. Why in the name of heaven are you smiling so much? That smile you had while sleeping is just getting bigger. Oh, no reason. I just think I saw something nice in my dreams. Dear, let's give it our all. Well, if you really are de dedicated to making this work, wash yourself and meet me downstairs. 
Will do. So. Day two. I guess tutorial stuff is like going a little bit into into more gameplay now. I hope. Let's see. But again, I'm doing this tutorial for you guys so you know what to do, right? Right? So it's important because I can't run this shop alone. I, I guess I can. Technically, maybe. So you are my fairy in this story, okay? So I have an item shop and stuff. And it's all cool and awesome, so uh, what do I do now? It is up to your judgment. If you sit at the uh, counter, we, you can, we can open immediately. Or we can reorganize the shop. Or we could even go search for new stock around town or elsewhere. Yikes. That's a ton of options. How do I, how, how do I choose? It is... As I said earlier, running a place like this is more of an art than it is something you can simply follow a map through. Simply pick something, we will deal with what comes. Okay. Well, okay, let's save. Good. I guess I go outside, it's the best, it's the best thing you can do. The Adventurer's Guild is glowing. Maybe I should go in there. Should I help? Can I help you? I have to help my girlfriend opening something real quick. She need my strong man hands. There you go. Strong man hands. Did the job. I did the job, guys. Say, so, what's this place? This is the Adventurer's Guild. The guild manages a uh, Expeditions to the various untamed wilderness wilderness areas or abandoned ruins near the city. The areas commonly referred to as dungeons. Without approval, adventurers cannot visit the dungeons. Uh, nuts! So we can't just go into a dungeon and pick up everything we see? If we could do that, we could sell everything we can get at 100% profit. It is still a very good idea. A great, a, a great many people have made fortunes that way. If you wish to do so, however, you must first hire an adventurer. Hire? Can I just pick anybody? The truth, of, the truth of the matter is a bit more complicated. Even if you pay them, few adventurers are willing to risk their lives simply for the benefit of a couple strangers. Oh, so they turn away people they don't know very well. Indeed, you should first get to know a few adventurers and build up a certain level of trust with them. If all goes well, they will give you a symbol of the guild membership. This usually uh, takes the form of a card. With that in hand, we can we, we can bring an adventurer with us. So it's like they're inviting us to a dinner party. Well, dinner parties usually do not include blood-mad beasts attempting to rip your limb to rip you limb from limb, but the analogy does work somehow, some, somehow, somehow, somewhat. Right, so first I need to meet an adventurer, hmm. which for us should not be that difficult, yes. After all, we run an item shop, so we should get a few coming in as clients on a fairly re regular basis. Oh yeah, well then I'll do my best to get a dinner, in dinner invitation. Indeed, just be careful that Raquette is not on the menu. Huh? Something wrong? Well, that guy over there. Listen to me! If I can't work, I can't get the money. And if I can get the money, I can get the items. And if I can get the items, apparently I can't work. Ah! Heaven! If I had a few things, I could at least... Vi I could at least visit the Hall of Trials. I wonder what's going on. He seems to be a rookie adventurer complaining about his inability to complete the requirement required guild test. Test. Well, the guild hardly allows anyone in off the streets. You can only work officially for the guild after passing a test. An item shop owner is hardly the only job with the challenges. Hmm, I have an idea. Huh? 
I do believe we have found a first adventurer. Wait, what do you mean by... Tia, wait! Tomato. Son, I burned what cash I had just getting to this city. If I can't get into the guild, I don't know what I'll even do for dinner money. Now I'm hungry. Great. Pardon me a moment, you the adventurer with the seedy look. Who you calling seedy? Uh, you do would be... We are a pair of merchants who happen to be passing. Merchants? Oh, you, you heard me talking. Sorry, but I'm way too broke and uh, seedy to buy anything. Believe me, I could tell by your seedy nature that uh, attempting to sell you anything would be a colossal waste of time. Wow, thanks, very friendly. Come on, Tia, stop with the seedy already. He isn't a plant. So you... Are you two going to pro me or what here? Would you like it if we came with you to the Hall of Trials? If you require equipment or items, we can provide them. I'd call you a pair of angels then, but why? Business, naturally. We help you pass the trial, you provide us with your card. Oh, I get it. We help Mr. Swordsman clear the dungeon, and then he gives us his card, a sign of our eternal friendship. Eternal friendship is rather irrelevant in this case, but it does work out neatly for all of us. What do you say? I see. You guys are pretty new to all of this too, huh? Our offer, Mr. Swordsman. Yes or no? Yes. Alright then. Heck, I got nothing to lose. Well, aside from my precious life, anyway. Yes, huh? Glad to meet you too, uh... I'm Raquette. Nice to meet you. I'm Tia. Call me Louis. Louis the Swordsman. Good to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Well then, we will begin all of the preparations for the dungeon for a dungeon visit, including a visit to the central market to pick up food and other uh, restor restorative items. We will then return here for you for you when we are ready. Right, I'll be waiting here. Should we not just go? Like, do we, ha do we have to go to the market? I don't want to buy stuff. It's just go. Yeah. I just go, like, finally, adventure. So this is the dungeon. Just so, welcome to the jungle, as they say. You know. Aren't we just going to hold Louis back here? I mean, I'm not a monster slayer, I'm scared. The two of us are perfectly safe. There is a protective field around the two of us. To the monsters, we may as well be invisible. Really? That's amazing. So, Louis is perfectly safe too then. Uh, not quite. Not. While in the field, we do not need to worry about monsters, but this is accomplished by making us vitally, vitally intangible to everything inside this place. We can directly manipulate nothing. Wait, we can collect things? Why are we here then? That's why our adventurer remains outside the field. Oh, I see, he'll pick stuff up for us. Should our adventurer be injured? We, we can place him in the field and retreat, since we must carry him back. However, we can take very little else with us. One item at most. So even if we run into trouble, we don't lose everything. But wait, I thought you said we can't. Yes, I will elaborate further if need, if need be later. Naturally, if we get out safely, we can bring as much as our bags will allow us to carry. Cool, wait, as much as our bags will allow? Well, our bags are not bottomless. If we if we run out of space, it will be up to us to decide what to keep or discard. So the adventurer focuses on adventure, while we keep track of what loot we should keep. I guess that makes sense. Hey, day, let's get to it. Equip items in bag? I don't have items in my bag. Okay. 
So yeah, we do dungeoning. My adventurer gets like, you know, uh, experience, and he will level up and he will learn new skills. This is cool, and we can collect stuff even better because we like stuff, as you may or may not know. We like stuff. We we like stuff around here. Stuff is good. I can't run. And his gimmick, every adventurer has a gimmick. The gimmick of this particular adventurer is he has a shield. So if I'm not attacking and stuff is like coming from front, from the front, we can actually block it. So this is cool and good. I guess in the Hall of Trials will be not much loot, huh? There is nothing around here. Ouch. He's not that Jobu. Let's go. So yeah. Easy basic. E no, it's not that Jobu. Easy basic. Dungeoning. So let's go. Let's get some items here. Kill these fiends. Ah, again, stones help. Okay. Get the well deserved experience from that. Lime fluid again. I need stuff. Lime fluid will not help me. And apparently, apparently I can counterattack even better. More slime fluid. Talk about unlucky. Talk about unlucky. Yeah. Nope. Ooh. That should be careful about around here. Careful, careful. Oh wow, one slime survived my super well-timed strong boy attack. Unlucky. Unlucky. Ow. Ow. Where, where are these slimes coming from all the time? This is the, this is the third trap, or, you know, the third trap involving these fiends. Oh, I have him. I have him in the corner. Is there one more of them? No. So, yeah. Hope you like it. It's a, a cozy dungeon climb, because this is what this is. It's about the dungeon. And it's about selling items to, to strangers. And getting filthy rich. In video games. Sh ag again with these fiends. But I will not. Fall to them. I will not, you know, will not die. Then there are not no match. Hmm. I wonder if I should like press forward and ignore all this stuff for now. Again with these slimes, the hall of oh, oh chocolate, oh chocolate. I'm, I am. I am very, you know, this is good. It's better than, it's better than like, it's better than going away. And, oh wow, a thankful statue. I'm getting cool stuff already. And a long sword. Nice, it's plus one even. Oh god no, oh god no. More chocolate, nice! We're getting rich, baby! So my plan... Right now... Hello, Calypso, nice to see you around. Hope you're doing good, hope you're doing good. My plan right now, get filthy rich. And how do I do this, you ask? I guess I'm going for the good old get into dungeon and get rich this way. 
I'm not more, I'm not, you know, I'm not the merchant guy. I'm like a, I'm like a get, get all the profit. Get all the profit guy, you know. Don't waste your time in stupid like marketplaces. Get into the dungeon. Get filthy. Get get loaded with items. Sell these items to the fools of the city. Make money. This is how we roll. Yeah. This is how I roll. Yeah. Yeah. More enemies. Yeah, yeah I'm dead, Joe, but it's, it's all good. It's all a good fashion. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes I'm... I'm... Oh, yeah. I'm looking through this. I have... I guess I have, like, more... Space to carry stuff. I could, like, look. I guess. Somewhere. I have a look. I have a look into my inventory button. There we go. 15 from 20. So I can, like, carry five more if I can't find some. I can't find more. See, there was my block. Does he like throw his? Oh, candy! It's mine now. And this is all for now. Okay, 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 okay. So far, so no challenge. But again, this is like the super tutorial dungeon. No, oh, thanks for asking. I'm doing. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm. I'm enjoying. I'm just enjoying the game. I, this is. This is one of my. You know, this is a cozy, a cozy let's go, let's let's go all in. The cozy let's go all in game. And I guess we finished the trial. This is. Did I do it? I did, didn't I? Hey, bad, good to see you around. Hope you're doing good. I did it. I've cleared the hall of trials. Oh, sweet mystery of life. Now you'll give me money. Way to go, Lee. Rakat, Tia, this is all thanks to you guys. This is all well and good, but there is a treasure chest just ahead. It behoves us to investigate through thoroughly. Tia, you really do like... You really do like going for the money, don't you? Uh, I, I do not spout such foolishness. There is no need to treat me like a flying ball of greed. <laughs> hey, hey now. I love me some treasure too, don't worry Tia. I feel you on this. Really? You two completely misunderstand me. No. I do not misunderstand you, it's all about the loot. So, the contents of the chest? Ha! Huh. Give me just a second here. Hey! Wow, cards! Oh, so this is an adventurous ca guild card. Oh, here! Okay, take one, like we promised. Oh yeah, okay. While you did, while you did pr uh, promise to give us your card eventually, we are not so cr crass as to demand your very first card. You really should think about who you want to give your first. No, oh, I want this. Raquette, I beg you, please take my very first card. I'd love to. Thanks, Louis. Awesome. I can't wait to adventure with you two. Some more. Merde. Really now? Young people. Let's go. Time to go. Time to time to cash in. Hey, dear. What's this thing that just showed up? It's a door. Ah, oh, yes, that. That is commonly referred to a go, go home. Ah. What am a door of return, I mean. If you enter that door, you can return to town in an instant. This one has appeared because we have cleared the dungeon, but they are often encountered and en but they are often encountered during normal exploration too. I believe they usually appear roughly every five levels or so. Wait, if we take this back to town, then we are halfway halfway in. Don't we have to start all the way at the beginning at the beginning again? Not at all. We can always head back to the floor that had be that had a door on it. In fact, if you do not use a door, you do have to restart. So if we find a door, we should always use it. Almost always. If we need to rest or unload, then, then we should use a door. Remember though, returning home takes time. Furthermore, leaving ends the current contr contracts with our companion. 
and we would have to rehire him or choose a new one. If there is something specific in the dungeon that you desire, you can simply ignore the door and press onward. Alrighty then. I think we have to go home now though. It's your birthday? Yo, it's your birthday! This is good. Happy birthday. Quite so. Oh, such, 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 just to be sure, in the future, please try to avoid referring to this as going home, yes. Okay. Return to town? Yes. Lots of slime fluid, but some cool items too, like the thankful statue and the long short. The long short is good, and the chalky too. I like the chalky. Let's go get some items out. They want to buy this shit. Let's go, thankful statue. We have something interesting, candy. Chocolate bar. Not candy. Rusty dagger. Candy. Scrap plate. And the wool hat. Let's go, let's, let's, you know. Let's open shop for the last part of the day, or for the last two parts. Welcome! If you need anything, just ask. You'll sell this when I'm near broke. Of course you're selling this when I'm near broke. Uh, do you need this? So, fun fact. I will tell you about this. If an adventurer comes in and he needs stuff for his equipment, he will buy it too. And it will show up that it, it will like... It will like improve him. So this is nothing. It, it will. It, this will not improve him. So I will just give it to him. That's a great deal. Thanks, for cat. Hey, so clothes. Finally, you can change. Hi there. I was looking for this. A long sword. Okay. Let's go for one hundred forty-five. It's that much, really? Oh god, damn it. Yeah, that will do. So if I can, I, I will, you will, you know. I, I, should I ex explain all the, the little mechanics here? No, let's just let's let's just capitalism hole. Let's go. Want the gloves? Yeah, I can sell them for the normal for the normie base price. Let's go. Oh wow, he will haggle anyways. What a dig! What a dig! I hate him. Delete him. Get him out of here. What a get him out of here. The Haggle King, dude. Rude, yeah. Oh, the Haggle King. Can't believe this. I have nothing more. Nothing left. One more. Let's go. Haggle Queen? Oh, he wants candy? Yo, you should like, why do you not buy the freaking longsword, you idiot? Take your candy! You sweet, sweet adventurer, you. I can't, you know, I, I, can't, I, I can't, you know, I have, to, I have to be polite to him. Welcome! You want the scrap plate, huh? This is a special prize, only for friends. 270. A little lower than this. Yeah, 269. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, the wooden. The wooden thing from my window, huh? It's 200. Oh my god, dude. They will. They ruin me. They ruin me. Yeah. God damn it. Let's see my profit today. It was a good day. It was a good day. Day three. Ohio. A cat, may I have a moment, please? We are we are like in tutorial mode, uh, by the way, if you can't tell. So I, I'm 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 waking more up if we like get out of all this. Sure, what's up? Concerning the debt, I have a suggestion. Uh, 
concerning its repayment. You do. Paying it all back at once is wholly beyond your means, so I recommend smaller weekly payments to slowly chip away at it. At it. Wholly beyond, you, you know, you never told me how big Papa's debt is exactly. That is because you would faint if you found out, for now it is a secret. Uh, faint? As the store begins to build up steam, we will increase payment size. The repayment date nearest to the current date, along with the amount due, will be displayed on the calendar in the main menu. Please be sure to check it reg regularly. Okay, yay. I'll keep an eye on it. Is it everything? Good. Yeah. So we have to repay 10,000. We can do that. I guess we just go adventuring again. Town Square Chapel. This actually will not take any time. Okay. Let's go. Hmm, I love being able to relax in the plaza like this. You never seem to have trouble relaxing when the when we are not in the plaza. <laughs> well, it's healthy, right? Chapel. Say it here. You came for a finance company, right? What on earth? Yes, that is right. I work for Tam Finance. So you're employed by them, right? What? What's it like? Uh, no, that is not quite accurate. I was con con contracted to tear to term through another organization. Thus, I am not really an employee per se. So you're just contracted. I'm surprised. You seem so. Is it not that surprise? It is not that surprising. Almost all fairies in human society belong to a very specific contract agency. You learn this. This is like very important. There are, of course, a few free agent fairies out there as well. And well, that's how it works. Uh, yes, to tell the truth, it can be difficult for fairies to find employment in human society. So the agencies were found founded an age ago in order to help uh, facilitate 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 fairy livelihoods. Sorry, it's amazing. Quite quite amazing. Deep boop, deep boop, deep boop, deep boop, deep boop. Okay, let's go adventuring again, I guess. Mm, it's like, I have 3,000 now, we need 10,000 for the first cycle, or for the first payment. I am all about getting more money than this. I, I want to I want to double my money, basically. So, I will take my level 4 swordsman again, and I will just depart again, and I will just go to the next dungeon. The Jade Way. Let's go. The Jade Way. So, keep our eyes out, chat. I need, I need you here. I need you here. This is a dangerous place. You are my guiding fairies here. If I, if I mess up, you mess up. If I win, you win. You are, in, we are in the same boat, okay? We are in the same boat here. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Oh, here we go. Come on, ice physics. Oh my god, what, was, what was this? Did he throw stuff at me? What happened? It's all good. Manage. Oh yeah, there's like bees and stuff. Yeah. I know this this looks like adventuring, but it's pure murder. It's pure murder! These fools, they don't have a chance against me. Ha! Huh. News. SP consumption halved. Wow, cool. So I can use my... special attack more- Oh, fishes! <laughs> but where are the freaking fish? Raincoat. I take everything I find. 
Good double counter attack. 